You know what? You don't make anywhere near enough money. You kind of feel like a prisoner in your own home sometimes. I'm kind of lost. I'm having a hard time paying it, and it's possible that I won't even be able to pay it. Just got the first bill at almost 30% interest. <gasps> Are you crazy? Money, money, money. My name is Amanda, I'm 26 years old. My name is Sean, I'm 29 years old. We have a daughter named Lyric and she is 16 months old now. My family is in serious financial trouble. We were both working for a moving company that went bankrupt. We were two months behind on rent. Amanda was already three months pregnant, so we had no choice but to rack up all our credit cards and it's been fun trying to catch up ever since. Now I work at the hospital in receiving and I also DJ for 17 years now and I also teach Kung Fu for $20 a month. <laughs> I'm currently a bookkeeper. I work at home and if I had a good week then I can pay the bills on time but because Sean works a lot then I can't work as much and so the bills will be late. I uh, don't have much part in that. Bank charges, overdraft interest. She usually stresses out pretty bad and it causes arguments in our relationship. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the worst thing you can say. We live a lot of our life with overdraft. It's like part of our income, as sad as that is. <laughs> we're that bad one. when we're together. We, we tend to like to spoil each other. Are you gonna buy it for me? It's $10 here, $10 there, that adds up, you know. And our daughter, Lyric, gets spoiled like crazy. Look at these. Those are cute. She needs more t-shirts. She needs a new bathing suit. She needs new pants. Let's get them. I feel like life is kind of on fast forward. Um, between trying to finish my schooling and working from home and then it's all kind of a balancing act. Like if Lyric is up, I can't work. She will not let me sit at the computer. You kind of feel like a prisoner in your own home sometimes. I feel sad, maybe angry sometimes because I would really love to be able to give Amanda and Lyric the life that I'm sure we would all love to have. I feel like we're not going anywhere. We're not progressing in life. We're just kind of staying the same. Gail. I am begging you, please come and save us. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Amanda and Sean scrape together a small income what little money they make is gone before they begin to make a dent in their debt. And this young, fun-loving couple feels like they're trapped on a treadmill. Time for these two to dance to a new tune. Hi. Hi. Amanda, nice to Gail meet you. Gail Vaz-Oxlade. Hi, I'm Sean. Lyric has a fair amount of toys. Yes, she does. Is this paid for yet? Uh, That's your answer. Maybe. <laughs> I've seen your paperwork. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Girl? Do you have enough pairs of shoes? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe I should use this on their credit cards. You have so much stuff for this kid, I can hardly believe it. <laughs> <sighs> Look at all the DJ stuff. You would think with all this equipment, there'd be a way to make more money in this family. You are the $10 kids. <laughs> it's a good way yeah. to put it. <laughs> ten dollars here, ten dollars there. If you buy a bargain and you put it on a credit card and you're paying <laughs> I know. a lot of interest, it's not so much of a bargain yeah. anymore. <laughs> Think you're spoiling Lyric? <laughs> yes, yes we are. Yeah, very much. You're substituting the buying of stuff for what you think's missing. That was probably the biggest shocker, but it also made the most sense because I think that's that's a huge part of what we do. So he likes cereal. Boxes at a time, like boxes. Like it's a good thing that Lyric drinks different type of milk. And sometimes I've caught him going into her milk. <gasps> oh yeah, it drives me crazy. Taking the milk right out of your baby's <laughs> mouth. Yeah, yeah, no, I like milk. How's it impacting on the two of you together in terms of your relationship? We don't talk about anything. We're not really intimate. So is it a lack of romance? Oh yeah. So no there's, timing. There's, yeah, nothing. <laughs> you know, the last thing you're thinking about is being romantic after you argue, right? So it's not that the debt is huge, it's that you don't seem to be able to get yourself out of even a little bit of debt. Yeah. 
Here you have a credit card, almost 20% interest, on which you're paying $30 a month. Yeah. Do you want to hazard a guess as to how long it'll take you to get out of debt? Long time. 50 months. And the thing is, is that you'd pay almost $500 in interest, virtually increasing the cost by 50% of everything you put on the card. We have a little buy now, pay later. <laughs> 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 and you haven't made a single payment. You just got the first bill yes. at almost 30% interest. <gasps> and you know what? The interest is retroactive to the day you got the TV. Yeah. So you just added another $800 to the cost of this television set. <clears throat> <laughs> Luck is getting me. <laughs> I know I'm in trouble. You don't get to use something you haven't paid for. I'm taking the TV set when I go. Okay. And look at these interest rates. Are you crazy? Wow. Wanna hazard a guess as to how much you're spending in interest every single month? It's 152.40. How many bags of milk would that buy? Yeah. How many boxes of cereal? You can't balance your budget if you don't have an accurate accounting of where the money's going. Your total overspending just on these four categories is almost $300 a month. $3,600 a year you're overspending by just here. You're overspending every month by about $640, which works out to about $7,700 a year. It's a lot of money to you guys. Wow. If you stay on course, your current $20,000 in debt will grow to over $80,000 in five years. Wow. Do you want to owe $80,000 or not? No. no. So will you do anything I ask? Yes. Sean, look me in the eye. I'll do anything. Because you know what? Some of the things I'm going to ask you to do are going to be very hard. Over the next few weeks, I'll give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to my satisfaction. Show me the right attitude. Mm -hmm. I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down this debt. It'll go a long way against this debt. Yeah. You don't do it, you don't get the money. We are going to get your debt to a manageable level. We are going to get you working with a realistic budget. We're going to get you working together to create the life you actually want together. Coming up, dialing for dollars. I'm having a hard time paying it, and it's possible that I won't even be able to pay it. Money, 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 money. Is this paid for yet? Money, 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 money. When Sean and Amanda's jobs disappeared, they learn the importance of an emergency fund the hard way. You are in deep doo-doo when you have to put your food on a credit card. Now that they have a little bit of money, they're spending it all on the wrong things. You don't make anywhere near enough money to be spending on crap. You think everything's gonna be okay, but you don't realize that you're sinking a little bit more every time. Time to live by a new set of rules. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. You people seem to think you can have your cake and eat it too. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> <laughs> Say bye-bye. That was such bye, a good bye, cake. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. I thought bye, it was bye. funny, especially because I know that Sean saw the cake and wanted to eat it. So. <laughs> but no, I'm glad they're gone. You have a tight budget, but it's going to get tighter. I'm cutting your variable expenses by 48%. So you're going to go from having about $1,800 a month to about $940 a month. You'll have about $100 a week for food, which would include diapers. Okay. Oh, really? $31.25 for transportation, $50 a week for entertainment, $25 a week for clothing and gifts, and your other jar is $29 a week, and that's cat food and medical stuff. All right. Cash can bleed out of your hands very easily, so we have a handy dandy budget binder mm -hmm. okay you spend fifty dollars you deduct the fifty dollars you put the receipt in the jar it doesn't sound too hard no not at all good this is your first challenge and it's your debt reduction challenge get the interest rates on your credit cards down okay you may have to call and negotiate if the first person you call says we can't do that say i'd like to speak to your manager please you keep ratcheting it up until you get to someone who says okay reducing your interest costs is one way to fast track your way out of debt but these guys also have an income producing hobby that's been gathering dust since the baby arrived the second part way more fun 
You're gonna do a rave. <laughs> Big party. <laughs> okay. You do your best and you find a way to make the most amount of money you can that we can put as a lump sum against that debt. He's not funning and joking anymore, eh? <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, lost I've boys. done these, I've done these, and I know what kind of work they entail. So. Absolutely. And if it takes three weeks, that's okay. You have to have okay. it done before I leave. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ever since we've been together, it's, we've thrown parties, and it's always, it's always a huge challenge. We haven't done something like this in a long time. With our way our lifestyle is right now, it's going to be a hard challenge. It's going to be stressful. I've been doing this for 15 years, throwing events, and it's no joke. <laughs> Usually to get a big crowd, it takes time, right? Flyering and advertising and getting sponsors. And I'm a little worried. <laughs> Not all creditors are willing to negotiate, so focus your efforts on the ones that will. I'm excited about that. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. It'll be. I don't care what I have to do, I'll, I'll get them down. I'm having a hard time paying it, and it's possible that I won't even be able to pay it. Hi, Mona. So I, I just spoke to somebody yesterday about uh, lowering my interest okay. rate. It's currently at 19.75, and I can't pay that right now. Perseverance is the key. It's not that much of a difference between 19.5. So is there somebody else I could speak to? How has life been this week? It's actually been it's pretty, pretty good. good yeah. yeah. You can live on the jars? Yes. Oh, yeah. We still have money left. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so how can Anyways, I cut our, your budget that much and you still have money left? When you can track it, you you see where it's going. and You mean you have your eye on the ball? <laughs> yeah. What a concept. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that we haven't gone over is your debt repayment strategy. Yes. There is a way to do your debt repayment than the smarter than the way most people do it. Most people want to pay off their smallest debt first. My advice is to pay off your most expensive debt. That's the one with the highest interest rate. Let's say you had $1,000 to spend. What you would do is you'd make your minimum on these two. If this is now taking $600 in five months, you'll be clear. Then you take this $600 and you apply it to your next most expensive debt. So over time, you increase the payments to the other debts. And you have snowballed your payments. <laughs> These were your interest rates. And one of your goals this week was to get those interest rates down. What did you do? Both the 19.75s are down to 11.65. 11. Excellent. Yes. Now, what could you do to reduce these further? Put them on the lower interest, yeah. transfer it so all So that's over. exactly what you're going to do, because if you go from 29.9% to 11%, yeah. <laughs> you are saving a ton of money in interest. Yes. Yeah. It made me feel good to drop all the interest rates. You don't know how much you actually save until you look at it on paper. In order to make these payments, you need to make more money. Okay. I need you to find a way between you to bring in an extra $400 a month net. Okay. okay. It's not huge. No. I think it's very doable, and it'll make a world of difference in terms of snowballing this debt away forever. Coming up, I check on the party planning. Are you sweating? Yes. <laughs> Is this paid for yet? Money, 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 money. You are the $10 kids. Struggling to get by on part-time jobs, Sean and Amanda were sinking into debt $10 at a time. Your current debt will go to over $80,000 in five years. Where did it all go? <laughs> Just blowing it on stuff that we don't need. Can I have it? <laughs> I gave them a wake-up call when it comes to buy now, pay later. You don't get to use something you haven't paid for. I'm taking the TV set when I go. They chop their interest rates. And now I've challenged them to make an extra $400 a month to help pay down the debt. I've been handing out resumes to local retailers, but then my stepfather called me and offered me a position at his work, working at the front desk. And Amanda isn't the only one with good news. I'm going to be changing positions at work, which will double what I'm making. Meanwhile, these new parents found a way to incorporate kids into their party plans. What we've decided to do instead of an all-age teen party is maybe gear it towards mothers with uh, younger children instead and turn it into a fundraiser, so I'll get some good publicity for it that way. The children's charity that will benefit from the party has paid for the advertising. A good strategy for getting the word out. 
how hard has it been living without your big screen TV? <laughs> we haven't really had time to watch it anyways. It's Because I've kept busy. you so busy? That's yeah. right. Yeah, but he's been a bit of a pain, hasn't he? A little bit, but I'm getting used to it. <laughs> What's he been doing to you, buddy? Just wrestling. <laughs> It's pinning me down and holding me there and yeah. sticking his elbows in me. That's not fun. Maybe he just doesn't know any other way. It's like pulling your pigtails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor thing. Making any more money yet? I've actually applied for my new job last yes. yesterday. So <clears throat> it could be anywhere from a month to two months now. I just have to wait for my department to release And how me. much are you going to get? Probably an extra six to $800 every two weeks. Wow. Okay, so that's like way better than I asked. Yes. Yeah. And she got a part-time job on the side. Which, which will bring, bring in an extra $900 a month. What's she doing with Lyric? Uh, my mom mm -hmm. actually stepped it up and said she's going to take her. Fabulous. So, so that works great. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so how is the planning going? Good. I awesome. think everything's in, in motion now. I think it's all ready to go. <clears throat> We're just waiting for Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> how are you guys feeling about each other? Uh, we talk yeah. a lot more. Yeah, we've been spending a lot more time together, laughing a lot more. Excellent. Yeah. We're gonna do your relationship rescue challenge okay. this week. And because Sean equates wrestling <laughs> with affection, <laughs> we're gonna give him the opportunity to learn a new way of endearing himself to you. Okay. I am sending you to take massage lessons. Uh. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had bromance for a long time. We try to fill that void with, with spending instead of trying to fill it with each other. Slow, even, gentle. Mm -hmm. Yes, for now. Cool. After doing this a few minutes, if you start going a little bit deeper, you want to give it a try? Sure. <laughs> oh, no. No elbows. Oh, your hands are cool. It's like Christmas, all you've ever given me, Whatever. That's true. I might just open my own salon. <laughs> Coming up, have three weeks of planning been enough? Well, it's kids, fancy and fabulous. Is this paid for yet? Amanda and Sean were struggling to make ends meet, sinking slowly towards an $80,000 hole. We buy groceries on credit cards, right? With my help, they've tackled their debt and lowered their interest rates. That has a lower interest rate then, please. Our spending habits have completely changed. And you know, when you have all this extra money and you know what it goes to, you tend not to spend it. They could earn up to $5,000 after completing a final challenge. We only have an hour left and we're starting to feel the pressure. Hopefully we'll make over a thousand today. There's a pen just write down every piece you sell. That's for you at the door. I check, wanted check. to see these two DJs find a way to stay in the music scene, even though they have a young baby. People trickled in, but the low numbers weren't a result of a lack of effort. It's only 2.30, though. It's a dance for parents and kids together. It's here till 6 o'clock today. It doesn't help that it's the long weekend, either. Some money was raised for a worthy cause, and Sean got the crowd dancing to his special remix of my favorite tune. How did the party go? A little bit of disappointment? Oh, uh, well, it was long weekend, really hot weather, so it was... It was beautiful outside. Yeah. Nobody wanted to be inside. And you guys really busted your butts. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your what's funny is that we're actually going to do it again. Yeah. Good. Yeah. We're going to start small. So how do you think you did this month? Great. Yeah. The budget, the jars, was probably the, the best thing that yeah. ever happened to us. So you're happy? Very. Very. Yeah. yeah. When I got here, you were actually was spending my $7,700 a year and headed to over $80,000 worth of debt. But you're not gonna do that. No, sir. Nope. If you stick to my debt repayment plan, we're paying just $500 a month, except for your car payment, you'll be debt free in eight months. Wow. <laughs> does that make you happy? Yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make you happier. At the end of your debt repayment, you take that $500 and add it to the $200 worth of savings we're setting aside, boot your savings to $700, and when you're ready to retire, you'll have $1.8 million. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think that we could cut that much out of our spending and still be able to live and we've done that and still have money left so I think that was the biggest thing. And now we come to the serious part. Ready? <laughs> yes. I have for you a check for $1,000. Okay. 
Here you go. That's on top of the check I have for you for $5,000. <laughs> That's awesome. Really? <laughs> because I know you were trying to make money for the debt repayment from the party, and it just didn't come off because timing wasn't good. But you guys should be rewarded for the effort you put in. And so you are my first couple ever, ever. You get Thank an extra $1,000. So Thank you and in so fact, much. If you do what you're supposed to do with that thousand dollars, you will be debt free in six months. Yes. Wow. But that's not all. And now there's a trip to Montreal <gasps> for a weekend, so you can enjoy the Montreal music scene. Oh, wow. Yay! Awesome. It was an amazing experience, and you know I don't know where we'd be without our help. It's definitely, I don't want to. I think tend. Sean's gonna be really sad yeah. when it's completely <laughs> over. He's enjoyed it a lot. I know I put you on a tight budget for finances, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Your cereal, fancy and fabulous.